Oops. Hey guys. Can you see what's on the screen? Grab rescue. Alright, I was trying to resize my root partition and being end up getting this error at the end. So if you're on the same ditch that I'm in right now, so I'll show you how to come out of that ditch. Um, actually, I, uh, I'm getting this error because I had resized my root partition using gparted. I have boot into uh, boot into a live CD and resize my root partition. When I reboot the machine, I am getting this error. So, so I sh I'll show you guys if you are in the same position that I am in right now, how to come out, how to come out of this point, and get your get your OS running again. Actually, I am running Ubuntu and Windows XP dual boot on this machine. So I'll show you how to recover the grub. Okay guys, uh, what you have to do is uh, place your Ubuntu live CD, Ubuntu installer CD into your CD tray and reboot your machine. I'm selecting optical drive so I'm now I'm booting my machine from my live CD So be patient and wait till you get into installer options. I'll be coming I'll be coming back when it is on installer options. Alright, uh, when you're at this point, click on try Ubuntu and be patient till the OS load up. It's gonna take some time, so I'll be back once it's loaded alright guys uh, system is booted uh, from the live CD and uh, if you go to home folder we have to find the partitions available in the device in the machine so as you can see you should be able to see three partitions um, and if you are not sure which partition is your previous root partition you can uh, go in and uh, if you click on it it will automatically mount it to media device media folder and I'm, I'm I know that this is my root partition anyway to be sure you double click it will automatically mount it so I can see my partition uh, folders so if you want to see uh, the path, the name, you can press Ctrl L. Then it will show you where it has mounted to. In this case, uh, it's under media. So I don't want to be, I don't want to mount it to media and with this big name it's very hard to uh, type of uh, following command so I just want to, uh, 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 before that uh, you, you have to find the partition name, you open up the terminal and uh, let me bring it up and type mount 
this will show you all the partitions that are mounted in the system and this is the one is mounted to media and this is the partition name so stv slash sdb asda5 so i'm gonna i want to mount this i don't want to refer uh, my partition with this big lead name so i just want to mount it again to uh, let me create a directory I'm gonna create a directory in my root under mount folder sorry I have created empty root I'll create uh, my root alright then I'm gonna mount it slash sdev sd file to my right so my uh, partition is mounted to my root folder then uh, what you have to do you have to uh, you have to bind you have to bind uh, some uh, uh, directories under root in the live cd uh, you have to bind uh, the actual uh, folders in the root directory uh, instead of uh, folders in live cd there are few folders you want to replace dev proc and sys uh, let me do that to get the fuse mount find I want to replace this dev on the live CD with the my actual dev directory done and the one more there are another two directories that I want to replace the other one is sys1 proc sys directory the other one is proc proc directory right now we are good to go we have to get uh, we have to ch root change our root directory directory to uh, our actual uh, root partition now we our root directory is on the live uh, root folder is uh, pointed to the live cd root so we want to change it to our actual mounted root partition root directory so I'm gonna do it. So do ch root. And mount. My root. So as you can see, it will change it to the root prompt will change it to our directory on the on our partition then all ready uh, the final command you point the grub to be installed on our partition SDA partition
up the install to SSDA. Installer finish. No errors reported. You are good to go. Just do a reboot now. I forgot to remove my installer. Let me reboot it again. Yay! Welcome back! Welcome back my previous Ubuntu! Okay guys, this is the previous Ubuntu version 9. Uh, we have successfully recovered the grub and this is the XP installation. I can load into XP. Let me load into Ubuntu. Alright guys, that's how we recover our grub and hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, subscribe see you see you later